All right, let's go for one of the other views. Uh, back to equations, manage equations. All right, uh, we've always been using the equation view. Let's go, pardon me, well, let me show you real quickly the ordered view. We have automatic solve order. These are all the equations, and SOLIDWORKS automatically solves it in the order that they are all completed. So you start with length, you start with a constant, and then you go from that constant, you go every equation that's de derived off the length, and you go to the equation uh, like width, and the other equations that are derived of the width. And the last one, of course, is the length smallest, and the last in the uh, automatic solver. But dimension view is probably one of my more favorites. Uh, it's because technically, you know, when you're in the uh, equation view, I had to select. Um, the dimensions when you go into dimension view all your dimensions are already there and notice how we already did the uh, Equations in the equation view. Well, they show up in the uh, Dimension view also Here's one more I can create a uh, It's got a constant value right now, but but I could actually create an equation here also um, So that's mainly the dimension view gives you uh, Easier way to see all your dimensions and hence, this is also why I say when you're creating your part, uh, name your dimensions as you go. That way, when you hit, you know, you go to the equations, global variables, and dimensions, and you go to dimension view, it's easy to see exactly what that uh, is. Especially if you have a, a part that has a whole bunch of dimensions and you are uh, looking at the values and maybe some of your values are very similar, you know, 50, 50, 60, wherever, and you're like, okay, which dimension does that go to? Well, if you have them named, you can easily, you know, so, oh, I know exactly which one that is. And then that's the one I want to actually create a uh, variable for. Or I want to, you know, link to, you know, some global variable. All right. Um, so that's the dimension view. Now, features, which we can, we can do in uh, pretty much um, dimension view or the equation view. Uh, features which I only have one right now, but let's add some features. So let me get out of here and quickly let's just go. Let me add some fillets to the edges. I'm just leaving with the R10. Let me add a, <clears throat> how about a chamfer? Two inside corners just because I'm adding different features here I'm not really caring about and let's just add one more uh, it's just sketch of anything it doesn't really matter let's sketch on the back side let me go to the center This just be a feature. Let's say 50, sure. Now I've got these features. <coughs> when you look at your part tree, now I've got the fillet, chamfer, and the boss extrude. Now let's go back to our equation manager. And then down to features, I can say add feature suppression. So let's say you know, we add all these features, yet, you know, possibly. Sometimes you want to show them, sometimes you don't want to show them. We can control that in the features here. So selecting that, add feature, let's add the fillet. Now, you have suppress or unsuppress. You can even type in the word suppress. Right here is a is an actual uh, built-in global feature. And that will suppress uh, the fillet. Okay. Notice how the fillet disappeared. Now, uh, let's add another one. Let's add the uh, chamfer. And also, you can see right here, it disappeared too. It actually um, just suppressed it. The chamfer, now, we can also add zeros and, and ones, you know, binary code. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, one, what was one? One is for suppress and zero is for show. So, um, right now, it's showing. Let's make it a one. That suppresses it. If I want to show it, binary code zero shows it. 
And the same thing, let's add the other feature we have, FOSS extrude, which is the back. Oops. And once again, we can either type in suppress as a global function or just use binary code. Zero keeps it. One suppresses it. So that's how you use uh, the features selection in the equations, global variables, and dimensions.